Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. I'm picking up today where Connor left off, uh, talking about the same subject of new beginnings. Um, We're in a new year, 2022, so happy new year. Um, And there's always this connotation thrown around that a new year is a chance for a new beginning, a new start. Um, a chance to change the bits about ourselves that we don't like, a chance to get on that fitness hype. Um, But it's a time that is set aside by the world for new beginnings. Um, But I want to look at this idea that, you know, new beginnings aren't just for new years. And we're looking around this, uh, this verse, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. The idea that if Christ lives inside you, you are a new creation, and therefore you have the opportunity to start over, which is an incredible, incredible promise uh, from God. Uh, I want to challenge you to think about the last time that you bought something new. So maybe that was a new coat. Maybe that was a new car. Uh, Maybe, I don't know, it was a new set of cutlery or something. Um, But when we buy something new, we, in our minds, we craft this idea that because it's new, it holds a lot more value than something that isn't new. And we almost paint this picture that if it's new, that must mean that that is perfection. Um, Something new is perfect. And it holds more value than the things that we already have. But then the more we use that new item, the more wear it has, the more, um, yeah, the more we use that thing, then the less value it holds as a result of that and then when you get to a certain stage there's almost this feeling that what once was new has now become old because of how much we've used it and then that leaves you wanting something new in place of that thing that was new because that thing that was new is now old and there's this cycle that The world tells us new is perfection. And if it's old, chuck it out and get something new. But here in 2 Corinthians, it says, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. So that means if Christ lives in you, you are a new creation. Hmm. It's not easy to remember. It's not easy to accept. But if Christ is in you, you are made new. And the idea that we have of something new being almost like perfection, that is the view that God holds of you. If Christ lives in you, you are perfect to God. God holds you at such high value that actually he sent his son to die for you. The context of this verse um, is Paul talking about reconciliation. So it's about coming right with God, uh, repenting of what we've done wrong. Um, And it kind of painted this picture in my mind that if, uh, if we have a piece of clothing that gets dirty or maybe if we've just eaten dinner on a plate and the plate gets dirty, we don't, our first thought isn't, well, let's throw those things away and get something else new because they're dirty. Our thought is that t-shirt's dirty or that plate is dirty, so let me wash it. Let me put it through the washing machine or let me put it through the dishwasher. Um, We don't have this immediate thought of it's dirty, so let's just go and get something else new. And that's the same with God. You know, God doesn't see the things that we've done that make us dirty and think 
right, well, I'm going to give up on them. I'm going to go and find someone else. That's not, not the way God works. God's thought is there's beauty underneath that dirt. Those wrong things that person's done, I see beneath that and beyond that, and I see beauty. I see a person that wants to serve me. If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. You are a new creation because Christ lives inside of you. Um, So it's time to start living like queer new creations. God holds us at such high value that he sent his son to die for us so that we could live in relationship with him. What an incredible, incredible thing that is. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. See you soon.